Well, how do that, chums? Does I have to know the students today, chums? I've got myself a lovely snazzy coffee. Heck yes, I have. Yeah, lovely job, Lee, from that dorsey goose machine. Lovely jobs. Mm -hmm. Nice one, that's Capo Lay, that one. That was very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, Lay, I think, is milk, isn't it, in French? Anyhow, I'm looking a little bit orange. Let's see if I can do something about that. There we go, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Anyway, what are we here to talk about today, other than coffee and the colour of my frickin' lights? We're here to talk today about Wonder Quest. Yes, my new Monday sort of live stream. Episode 1 went rather riveting well. So, I've upgraded my um, Discord, like I said I would, when I say upgraded. I've added in some extra folders, people in the viewer verse. This is my Discord that I'm sitting on right now. And here we are, this is... Welcome to WonderQuest General Chat. So yeah, it tells you a little bit about what WonderQuest is. So this is all the different finds that you can find inside of the NMSA hub. And what we're probably trying to do is try to knock out all of my worstest finds. So here we go, let's just hit open there. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, so these are my current finds, and you can see here, none of them have got the prefix of NMSA, like I normally prefix every single thing I find inside the NMSA hub. So none of these have been noteworthy to me. Now I have noticed that this, these records only go back about two months, so there's quite a few funds that I have to re-go and do, perhaps, inside of the NMSA hub. So yes, I believe it's only going back two months into our histories, people. So I might have to go revisit some of the actual hub planets and see if it re-registers, but I don't know whether it will, because they're older discoveries, aren't they, peeps? Anyways, I'm after your assistance. If you're inside of the NMSA hub and you've got bases there and things like that, I mean, you can always come to the NMSA hub and start putting down bases and things and that. But I've got folders here. So here's all your different wonder quest planets that you've found. If I find any, I'll put them here as well. I've got flora planets. I've got mineral planet. Well, the minerals on planets, fauna on planets, trophies as well. And so yeah, pretty much anything you find inside the NMSA hub where it pops a wonder on your wonder quest wall yeah there we go that's what i'm after if you want to share those with us that'd be freaking great so you're probably wondering well where can i find the wonders inside of game captain steve well here we go let's jump inside of game and i'll show you so if you bring up your discoveries tab like this and go into the catalog and guide area down here you're going to see this new icon called wonders click on wonders and it's going to bring up these treasures treasures i'm not really too fussed about but if you want to share your treasures feel free to you can just put them in the general area i suppose there's collected glitches now you can put down your glitch plant planets that you find inside of the trophies area i found a couple i found this one and this one really ought to share the coordinates for those in fact i'm on one of the planets right now so that's for the um the, the picasso cubes as i call them or electric cube there you've got planet records so this one here look at that it's a paradise planet, 99.5%. I went and visited that in my first episode of Wonder Quest. I put the link for the video to Wonder Quest up there, so you can watch that video. That's my first live episode ever. So yeah, go watch that, and uh, you'll get the idea of what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, so this one was outside of the NMSA hub, which is a real shame, because almost the perfect paradise. So yeah, I'm trying to find perfect paradise planets. I want to knock this one out first, really. But if you find any of the others, please let me know. And please be sure to name them with the prefix NMSA if you find them inside the NMSA hub. Now, I'm only after finds inside of the NMSA hub. I have made that very clear at the title of every single one of these folders. But there we go, peeps. So let's jump back over into the old Discord. Oh, let's go through some of these other ones because... In the Fauna records, I've got some of these are actually from my random portal adventures, which I do on Tuesdays. So my random portal adventures might start interfering with my own wonder quest, <laughs> which is a bit of a shame. I'm in competition with myself across these two pages against my random portal adventure and my port and my grand oh. <laughs> and my wonders quest episodes. There we go, we've got flora records as well. I very rarely name plants, so I need to get into the habit of naming everything I find inside of the NMSA hub. Flora and minerals, I'm going to have to start prefixing those finds with NMSA and just hope that I can knock these ones out and hopefully do them ambiently. So at the end of my live streams, what I plan to do is go back through each of the planets I've put boots on the ground on 
and re-scan or name everything that's inside of those planets, which is going to be fun. I want to try and keep the Wonder Quest adventures exciting. Uh, so yeah, naming plants and rocks during the actual live stream isn't all that exciting, is it, people? So, anyways, let's just jump back on over onto my old Discord. Not that my Discord's got much to show in it, to be fair. So you know what? I just make myself a bit bigger on screen, and we'll just talk about this, I guess. So yeah, the Wonder Quest. <laughs> I really think that Hello Games should have put more emphasis on this area inside of the catalogue, because for players like me that have done everything, this is the only thing inside of the Fractal update that's now given me a bit of longevity. I want to make sure that those wonders that I find are applicable to my hub. Now I know not every person out there has got a hub, but you know what, a lot of content creators out there do. So your favourite content creator? Why not jump over to their hub and start searching their hub and seeing if you can find some awesome wonders and uh, let them know about them, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd imagine other content creators are going to be jumping on this and doing similar sorts of stuff as what I am. But if not, you know, be you're more than welcome to come over to my hub and make a start in mine. <laughs> yeah, lovely jubbly. So yeah, jump on over and give it a little bit of a... A little bit of a scout become a little nmsa 905 scout now i want to show you really the actual um 905 wiki page because there you find pretty much every hub zone or every single hub owner have got their own sort of naming conventions and things like that that they hit on up i don't know what this bloody giant advert is no i don't want to read more i want you to go away how do i make you go away uh, okay, like that. Brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Cool. Right, so let's uh, scroll on down. There we are. And, uh, fudging adverts everywhere on these freaking wikis, isn't there? Bit of a shame, really. It'd be nice to get rid of the dang things. Go away! Yeah, you know, uh, shouting at the screen doesn't work, Captain Steve. Dang it! And, and that, that's another advert. I didn't put that there. So here we go. A summary. 905 Hub is a civilized space community located in this, this region of the Euclid Galaxy. Basically, it's inside of the 905 region. So when you look at your galactic map, it would have 905 in the actual coordinates at the top. Um, you know what? I'm in the 905 right now. I'll show you what I mean, people, because it's, it's, it's not the most easiest thing to explain. If I come out of here, I'll just jump into my ship. I'm already in my ship. I can take on off. If I fly on up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, and bring up the galactic map, like so, boom, up in this top left-hand corner right now, people, you see where it says the light years. And right over in the opposite side of the screen, all the way over over there, where you can see the spiral arm, so it says galaxy, and it's Euclid center, but there's 905, and then a load of other numbers. As long as the first three numbers say 905, and then you've got three numbers afterwards, you're in the 905 zone. And yes, that would be a massive great big circle around the galaxy's perimeter. The idea of the 905 hub isn't like other little hubs where it's just a little mini region. This forms a defense ring. So you know in the lore, the Viking pushed the Sentinels back into the darkness. Well, yeah, we form a defense barrier, which is pretty much what it says over here inside of here. Our mission is to keep the Sentinels in dark space. Past the 905 defense barrier, barrier we form a defensive ring we do this by building bases and resource depots while charting planets and reporting any disturbances at the boundary failures just a little bit of made up law there people and, but then i am hoping that one day the further you go from the center the more sentinels you encounter at least that's what i hoped because it's in the law it's never actually actually happened but that would be pretty awesome wouldn't it especially if we get defense turrets and things for our bases one day but then again that's probably never going to happen either <laughs> i've had all these different events that take place inside of the the 905 hub so we've had different ship meetups we've had an anvil one a vector one we've got pet egg giveaways we do building challenges and all sorts of other stuff inside the 905 hub a lot of those things though are dependent on multiplayer and being decent and multiplayer hasn't been decent since waypoint but as soon as it's fixed we will be getting onto that people we will indeedy doody so yeah the 905 hub so i have got my actual main hub area inside of here where i've got quite a few different bases inside of my main hub zone uh, yeah, but pretty darn pretty awesome place to come and visit. Go and have a look at some of the bases. I had to delete the R2-D2 just the other day, though, people, because its head didn't work anymore. The snapping point for his eyeball seems to have gone missing, so now I can't put his eye facing forward, so I just deleted the whole base out of frustration. That one's not there anymore. You'll probably find a lot of 
these bases aren't here anymore. Some of the players that are in this list, I think, have slowly moved away from uh, No Man's Sky as well. And they may have, you know, needed their base part count back up. So, yeah, have a little wonder, have a little look, see what you can find, though. But, yeah, the NMSI Hub Wiki, too, if you do want to add to this, you know, you can just get rights through the wiki and you can update it. I am considering maybe adding, adding a wonders area into here at some point. I don't know whether that's a plan on the wiki's minds to add in wonders for hub zones, but I might just make up my own little one at some point as and when I've managed to fully populate my wonders area. Heck yes. There we go, people. That's my little wiki. I'll put links to the wiki inside of the video description so you can go hit that up and give it a better look in your own sort of time and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, just to let you know, though, that the Discord is now populated with these folders. Not that there's much in there apart from inside of the general area. But yeah, a good little place to talk to other people inside of the 905 NMSA hub. And yeah, the general chat place is good for that. I have got all these other areas here where people are already showing photos of all sorts of stuff that they're finding inside of just No Man's Sky in general. So this is for all your general finds, portal codes, all sorts of other stuff that you find. You know, if you do find things inside of the NMSA, I have got an NMSA general chat area where people are putting things where they find them inside of the actual hub area here. But it's just a collection of everything and anything in here that's NMSA hub related. So just make sure you're in the right sort of um, areas and it makes sense to everybody. You know, I very rarely come in here and do any sort of moderation. Um, so just moderate yourselves pretty much. I do frequent this from time to time, have a little read, see what people are up to and stuff. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's it's may I'm going to be mainly using the Wonder Quest areas. And of course, when I do my 1616 podcast, these are where you can join into the podcast. You've got these waiting rooms over here. So yeah, it, it is a good little Discord to be a part of. And it is a nice little community, you know? No, the No Man's Sky community is by far the best community out there. And I like to think my Discord is fairly drama three. I haven't had any issues inside my Discord. Touch wood, and I hope I never do, you know? But there we go, people, inside of the view of us. That's pretty much everything I've got for you today. I'll go back to drinking my freaking coffee, people, in the view of us. I guess I will, lovely jubbly. Looks like I've got an update. My PC is wanting to restart itself now, people. Okay, well, I'll get on to that too. Yeah, busy day. And um, I'm not going to do too much inside of the NMSA hub outside of my Wonder Quest episodes on Mondays. Join me for those GMT time. And it's at 6 p.m. in UK time for those Wonder Hub episodes. I also do the random portals on a Tuesday. And on a Friday, it's the weekend mission. All of those take place at 6 p.m. UK time. And that's whenever I go live. I try to do daily content like these episodes every day. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you like and watch you see with your eye peepers, hear them with your e ear holes, hit that like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you for the next episode. Anyway, thank you for listening. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.